हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉग विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन दिस क्लास इज बेस्ड ऑन एच एस टी आर सिलेबस बायोलॉजी दैट इज नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस एक्चुअली आई हैव टेकन अ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस क्लास फॉर माय पेड क्लास एस्पिरेंट्स आई थॉट दैट आई विल बी गिविंग दिस लिस्ट ऑफ मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन अलॉन्ग विद आंसर्स फॉर दी free class uh, aspirants in my youtube channel so as per the syllabus we need to know about the meaning types and the classification of natural resources and then uh, we need to learn about importance of soil and its types forest uh, ecosystem diversity in forest fossil fuels and uh, different types of fossil fuels and then we need to focus on water minerals and uh, conservation of natural resources so here is the list of multiple choice questions based on these topics also at the end we will be solving uh, questions based on hstr 2015 question paper from this part of the syllabus i mean to say the natural resources so please do watch this class till the end to have a detailed idea about what type of questions can be asked from this chapter okay so let us now start discussing the list of multiple choice questions the first question is which of the following is not a fossil fuel if you are a paid class aspirant then you will be knowing the answer to this question uh, yes you are right the answer is uranium because coal oil and natural gas all these three are fossil fuels whereas uranium is a radioactive element it is not a fossil fuel okay next question which of the following is not a type of soil hmm. as we have discussed in the class also loamy sandy and clay all these three are types of soil whereas green soil is not a type of soil so option 4 will be the correct answer which of the following is a renewable source so coal oil and natural gas these three are non renewable resources so wind energy only wind energy is a renewable resource from these options next question which of the following is an example of non metallic mineral see gold and copper to is metallic mineral now coming to diamond it is not a mineral at all because it is a allotrope of carbon uh, next gypsum gypsum is a mineral but it is not a metallic mineral so you can say option 4 gypsum will be the correct answer next question which of the following is not a type of forest ecosystem temperate tundra boreal another one is coral of course coral it is not a forest ecosystem whereas uh, temperate tundra and boreal are a forest ecosystem okay next question which of the following is not a method of ground water conservation actually artificial recharge rain water harvesting and uh, sustainable irrigation option a b and c are uh, ground water conservation methods whereas this uh, dams and reservoirs they are used to just store water they are not method of uh, ground water con conservation okay now if you want to talk about uh, each of these uh, methods of conserving the ground water we have this artificial recharge method no here excess of surface water is directed into the ground so that you can have a lot of uh, Uh, ground water preserved there then you have this uh, rain water harvesting that is so is very interesting thing when uh, heavy rains come no you can uh, save water whichever is falling on the land no you can save it uh, in your houses you make some arrangement to save that water that is known as rain water harvesting another is uh, sustainable irrigation now this is a sensible use of uh, water while planting the trees in irrigation okay so option c will be the correct answer for this question because they are telling which of the following is not a method of uh, ground water conservation so option c dams and reservoir will be the correct answer next question which of the following is a type of renewable energy 
now nuclear power natural gas and uh, coal fired power all these are non renewable energies whereas solar power it is never ending it is a renewable energy so option c will be the correct answer next which of the following is a benefit of the conservation of agriculture increased soil erosion reduced crop yields and increased water use all these three are opposite of conserving agriculture right only the enhanced soil fertility is the benefit we are getting by doing the conservation of agriculture so option c will be the correct answer which of the following is a non renewable resource forest water solar energy natural gas actually this question is little tough question i must say because uh, if you see the options you will feel that even water is non renewable even at one point of time maybe forest will also finish even that also may be non renewable but then if you compare all the options given in this uh, question no natural gas is the most non renewable resource so option d will be the correct answer for this because natural gas is uh, derived from fossil fuels right so of course they are non renewable resources okay next question which of the following is a metallic mineral quartz feldspar gold gypsum of course gold is a metallic mineral option c will be the correct answer next question which of the following is not a type of renewable energy hydroelectric power biomass energy geothermal power all these three are renewable energies whereas coal fired power is a non renewable energy so option d will be the correct answer next question which of the following is not a component of soil organic matter minerals water air ha huh. of course air is present everywhere but then it is not proper component of soil right so option d will be the correct answer because the soil is made up of organic matter minerals and of course water is also present okay next question which of the following is not a method of sustainable forestry options are clear cutting selective harvesting shelter wood cutting seed tree cutting see sustainable forestry is all about caring and managing the forest here clear cutting is a method of tree removal where all trees are removed from that particular area so we are talking about the sustainable forestry here which includes uh, selective harvesting shelter wood cutting and seed tree cutting which one will not be included in sustainable forestry means it will be clear cutting only because we are removing trees right so removing trees is opposite of uh, sustaining the forest okay so option a will be the correct answer next question which of the following is a non renewable resource wind energy solar energy oil hydroelectric power so the similar question has been asked here in a twisted way we were talking about the natural gas right so we are deriving oil also from the fossil fuels only so option c this one will be the non renewable resource okay next question which of the following is not a method of water conservation drip irrigation rain water harvesting overhead sprinklers grey water recycling see drip irrigation rain water harvesting and grey water cycling these are all methods of conserving the water whereas overhead sprinklers they are a method uh, used in the process of irrigation so this is not at all related to water conservation so option c overhead sprinkler will be the correct answer for this question okay next question which of the following is a non renewable resource solar energy wind energy coal hydroelectric power we have to find out the non renewable resource from solar energy wind energy coal and hydroelectric power so comparatively coal will be the most non renewable resource so because it will be like you don't know when it will be exhausted okay
Next question, which of the following is a renewable resource? So this renewable and non-renewable, you should not get confused, okay? If you want, you can make a list or just remember that renewable resource is that which will not finish, okay? It which will not be exhausted. But non-renewable resource may finish. You will not get it again. Maybe that point of time may come, okay? So which of the following is a renewable resource? So solar energy will never get exhausted, right? So option C will be the correct answer. Next question, which of the following is a type of renewable energy? So if you compare all the four options, you will understand that uh, hydroelectric power is the renewable energy because all other things given in the options are all non-renewable energies. Okay. Next question, which of the following is a component of soil? Nitrogen gas, oxygen gas, organic matter, carbon dioxide gas. Of course, soil is made up of organic matter, right? So, if you see the very first definition of soil only, you will understand that it is made up of organic matter and minerals. So, here organic matter is there in the option. So, that will be the correct answer. Next, which of the following forest is known as lungs of the planet? Earth. So, we have taiga forest, tundra forest, amazon rainforest and uh, rainforest of northeast India in the option. The correct answer is amazon rainforest. You should remember this. I think I did not say about this point in the class. Anyway, we were talking about amazon rainforest in the class. But now you have to remember that amazon rainforest are also known as lungs of the planet earth. Because uh, they are having so much of uh, diversity and maybe because uh, they are producing so much of oxygen because of so many trees, they are named as lungs of the planet earth. Next question, the historic convention on biological diversity held in Rio de Janeiro in 1992 is known as, uh, this can be a GK question also actually. Now this one is very famously known as the Earth Summit. Okay, this is a very very important question. In fact, uh, I am expecting this type of question um, this time. Maybe in GK they may ask or you never know, maybe they, are, they will ask in biology question paper only. Okay. So, the historic uh, convention on biological diversity which was held in Rio de Janeiro in 1992 is known as Earth Summit. Okay. Which type of soil is best suited for agricultural production? Uh, we have discussed this in the class, right? This is a loamy soil. Loamy soil. Okay. Next. Dash has the maximum genetic diversity in India. Of course, mangoes are uh, famous, right, in India. So, these are famous because they are having variety of them. You can find different type of mangoes in India. That's why they have the maximum genetic diversity, you can say. Okay. Next, dash is one of the least porous soil. Of course, it is clayey soil. We have discussed this also in the class, right? It is a clayey soil. Next, global warming can significantly be controlled by increasing solid waste, reducing water wastage, burning human generated waste, reducing fossil fuel consumption. Of course, it can be significantly controlled by reducing the fossil fuel consumption because the smoke and uh, the fog which all comes out as a pollution in air that is leading to the global warming ultimately okay so if we reduce the fossil fuel consumption then automatically we are controlling the global warming okay so these were the important questions which i have made from natural resources now let us discuss uh, i think two questions were asked in hstr 2015 we will discuss them Okay, the question, first question is salinity in soil is caused by, of course, if you see the options, no, excess addition of rainwater, excess leaching, rapid evaporation of surface water, accumulation of soluble minerals in soil. Of course, salinity means salt, right? Salt means uh, some minerals must be uh, added up in the soil. That's why it has become salty. So, option four, accumulation of soluble minerals in soil. That is the correct answer. See how general questions are asked, you know. So, this chapter is a very general chapter. So, uh, you cannot expect a particular type of question will come. But, uh, cleverness is that we need to read it even from point of view of general knowledge also. So, that will help us in two ways. Okay. Okay. Next question. The most diversified communities on earth is 
temperate grasslands tropical evergreen rainforest tropical deciduous forest temperate forest uh, of course we have discussed this in the class anyway i will tell you again uh. regions of the earth that typically show rich biological diversity they include tropical rainforest uh, coral reefs and even certain areas of high species endemism like uh, madagascar is there or amazon basin is there in india if you talk about them they are western ghats okay so the answer to this question is a uh, tropical evergreen forest see i will give you one uh, trick here see evergreen see the name only it means that uh, there are the uh, trees will be present there which are green always okay deciduous means it is the opposite of evergreen okay so evergreen forest means throughout the year they will be green only the trees in that forest will be green only whereas deciduous forest means uh, they will be like uh, um, they will be renovating you can say some uh, trees they will be becoming dry in some uh, season of the year okay so you can say that most diversified communities on earth is present in tropical evergreen forest okay evergreen rain forest you can say okay okay friends this was all about multiple choice questions from natural resources uh, what i can say you is that uh, i think uh, these questions will be more than enough for uh, this chapter okay and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all the best bye